is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of the, my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link in discount code down in the description. Also in the pinned comment, the best price on getting your very own Glance LED. Absolutely no subscription fee. All you need to do is buy the unit, plug it in, tell it what you want to see. It's going to get live, real-time data from the NFL, NASCAR, UFC, Major League Baseball. You name it. For the most part, you're going to find it, even if it's not sports, news, weather, stocks. Keep you up to date with everything you love at a glance. And again, no subscription fee. Can't overstate that because Madden is here. And Madden loves to sell us on Madden Ultimate Team. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. But I want to start off with this awful gameplay. And I know people are going to sit there and say, You may get these kids go win, man, play. You may get how often does this happen? It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, this programming is still in the game. So it can impact me on one play, it can impact you on 20. We have asked EA to build a better football game, and this has been the response. We're going to call this lineman, we're going to call him Clint, and I want you to watch Clint. And I guarantee you, if you've played Madden and you're honest with yourself, you've seen these things happen. And the reality is, this is a play action. As the quarterback completes that motion, we have two linemen here whose job is to protect the quarterback. They are doing nothing. They are standing here. The last line of defense is now Nick Chubb. It is up to him as the halfback to protect the quarterback. Now, he just finished the play action aspect of this play, and he can't do it. In real life, it's asking a lot. But in a video game, it's just basic coding. And we're going to take a look, a detailed breakdown at how this fails in its poor quality animations. Not just from the motion of the quarterback, but the reality is some of you don't like to accept this, but the defense doesn't have memory built in. They don't get fooled by these play actions. They're going to attack the ball carrier, period. And that's what you see here. So it's paramount that the blocking AI is high level. And I want you to watch. I'm going to slow this down. I want you to watch this player right here. Watch this animation and ask yourself, why? Why was this recorded? This is one of the animations they added where his foot just gets stuck in the ground and he does nothing. From the other side, I want you to ask yourself, you know, Nick Chubb, any player, if you want to talk about simulation, recovering from an injury, are they going to come out and put themselves at risk to make this type of turn? If we're talking about simulating football, right, that's what EA wants to sell you, the ultimate simulation. Look at how they contort. It's just silly. It's stupid, really. We should not be sitting here looking at a line where two offensive linemen can't block. And spare me, you know, players miss blocks in real life. Again, this game does not have that type of human error coded into it. I know some of you want it to. I know some of you want to sit there and justify poor gameplay by one time in 1964, a left tackle totally ignored a defensive lineman. But the reality is you have to be truthful with yourself and say, hey, that's not in the game. They don't have that logic, so I can't use it. Now, if you want to sit there and say, okay, you know, I'm going to give up this sack or I'm going to be rewarded with this sack. And as a rationalization as to why this game is so bad, I'm just going to pretend I'm going to create in my mind a scenario that doesn't exist and tell myself that it's because human error, then that's on you. But you know what? That's a pretty sad way to look at anything in life. Something specifically as insignificant, really, in our lives as a video game. To sit there and fabricate excuses for it. But I want to come back to the beginning of this video. Because when we look at this and we realize this is logic that's been broken in this game for years. That we've asked EA to improve for decades. I think we have to take a special minute to understand what they have been working on, what they have been selling you, is Madden Ultimate Team. Because make no mistake, as soon as you boot up this game, it's driving you into Madden Ultimate Team. It doesn't want you to go to play now. It wants you to go into Madden Ultimate Team. It wants to reward you for turning on the game with a pack. Go open this pack of cards. And I've long said the reason EA is so focused, hyper-focused on Madden Ultimate Team is they know if you're going to sit down and play this game, Right, and you're going to go through a full game offline, you're going to see things like this. And to a true football fan, to a true simulation football gamer, 
you're not going to want to play this game very long when you see issues like this. So what they want is they want you to go into Madden Ultimate Team. They want you to get in very short game motions. Instead of playing a full game, you're just going to play for this goal, right? You now have condensed the time you're playing this game from maybe a 20, 35 minute full game to maybe down to a two to five minute condensed game, which if something goes wrong, you can restart, you can go out, play it again, no big deal. I've never seen a company really prime you to spend the least amount of time in their game because they want the most amount of time with you opening packs. They want the most amount of time with you looking for someone online to play against because once you have those superstar players, you can justify all these things easier because the game moves faster. But it should not be this way. This game should be quality X's and O's from the start. There should be a baseline for simulation football. And to a point, they sell that to us. You know, they sell us players that read the field so many times. They sell us hit stick 2.0. But we've told them none of that matters. I've got news for you. When you're sacking the quarterback like that, real-time physics, tackling animations, none of it matters because, truthfully, even as someone that was rewarded with the quarterback sack, it shouldn't happen. I should not get a sack because two linemen completely neglect to block. Because a halfback can't turn 180 degrees in the middle of the field to come back and pick up a block. You can't, at least in my opinion, feel good as a gamer saying, hey, I won the game this way. What if it had been a fumble? What if I'd recovered for a touchdown? What if he had thrown out of the animation even though he was getting sacked? All of these things are possible because EA has built a game which centers itself around animations. And they don't have enough of an animation library to actually give you a complete game. Moreover, because they know this, as soon as you get into the game, their objective is to funnel you through to get you to playing mini games, to get you to playing online. But most importantly, to disregard the fact that you just paid for this game or paid for a trial or have EA play and want to use 10 hours for free. They want to get past that and get to the point where they take more money from you. Because they rewarded you for your purchase with packs, and now they want to sell you more packs. But on top of all that is a broken game. It's a game that can't even simulate how to protect the quarterback, which most people will tell you is one of, if not the most important positions in all of sport. Three players here. Every single one fundamentally failed to protect the quarterback. And because of that, I can sit here and confidently tell you, there is no way that I will not be back in the week with more commentary.